thank you very much. Did I tall enough? There we go, good. Um, a few years ago, before I um, moved up and down the East Coast, I was in a college at uh, University of Alabama in Birmingham, or UAB. And how I had uh, college kind of uh, paid for was through stipends that I would perform with a group. Every Friday afternoon, we would go out and perform with this children's group, and it's called Bookends, and we would go and do learning lessons, literacy, and things like that. And the Bookends were actually invited to go to Central America. And it wasn't coup season, so we were able to go at a time where we had a couple of weeks to really be able to enjoy ourselves. So the first stop that we had, and let me explain who it was. It was myself, and I was the company manager. I had three other uh, lovely ladies who were traveling with us who made out the cast of the show. We traveled light. And then we had Melissa, the technical director. So that's who was traveling with us. So we land in Honduras, and we went to one of the first private schools that was there called the El Bell School and we performed. And it was no big deal, we did our normal routine and then uh, we had chaperones who were kind enough to take us out and about and sightseeing and taking us to dinner. We had an incredible experience. But something was happening uh, along the way that we just kind of noticed with one of our members, her name was Sonia. And Sonia um, was really attracting the bugs. For whatever reason in Honduras in, in summertime, it's a little buggy. Now, fortunately for folks from the South or from Alabama, I've really been blessed with uh, a tolerance to bugs and mosquitoes. If one bites me, it's actually my superpower. I'll show it to you sometime. <laughs> if one actually bites me, you can actually watch the little bump just disappear. It's really cool. <laughs> but that's me. Sonia, bless her heart, was from another part of the country, living in Alabama, and now dealing with these helicopter-sized bugs who were attacking her incessantly throughout this performance in this trip. So there were times that we would go out to eat and it was like an amazing experience because we were sitting outside and I remember one of the first experiences when you really think about the difference between American beef and Central American beef, I actually ordered a T-bone down there because somebody else was paying for it. And, uh, and it came, I had two. And it actually looked like pork chops. I mean, they were so small because the cows do not get near as big or, or hormones, you know, things like that. The whole time, Sonia, bless her heart, just slapping away. No one else seems to be affected. So, as we continue with the tour and we go to different schools and we go out and about and I buy a bag of Coke and we're able to go, oh, I'm sorry, is uh, down there, they actually, um, because they need to keep the deposit because the country being relatively poor, they keep the bottles and they can return them for five cents and they would actually take your soda and pour it into a plastic bag with a straw in it. Now, what's funny about that is that you can never set it down which was really hard for Sonia because she had her bag of Coke and she could only now swat with one hand. Anyway, so eventually we said, look, we've got to help her out. So now you've got to understand, these are folks from Alabama and I only learned two words. Uh, I, I, what is it, El Banyo, El, El, whatever it is, Banyo, at the time I knew it, uh, bathroom and cerveza for beer. That was the only two things I cared about. So between the teacher who was there, the chaperone, trying to help Sonia as well, who was from America and teaching at an American school, took her to the pharmacia. And they explained their plight to the pharmacist as best that they could, and they came out. And I, you know, they were like, do you need to go in? And I said, there's, there's no help that I can give whatsoever. We waited in the van. So they come out, and we continue on with our tour. We went to nightclubs we, you know, when we weren't at the schools and performing. So we just had an absolute blast. In fact, at one point, this was late 80s, we actually, uh, I found the girls almost trapped in a room with Contras. Google it if you don't know who they are. For all the old folks, you can just nod like, what the hell? Fresh out of the hillside, Contras had taken my team and divided them in the motel room where they were about to conquer. And I said, we've got rehearsal, we gotta go, get them out of there. Whole time though, I don't know who thought Sonya was attractive, but they did, there she was just slapping away. So that was just one of the many adventures. So from the tours and the eating out and the concerts and having to deal with them. And all along, poor Sonia doing her best to keep the bugs away. And finally that night, and I noticed that her welts and everything were getting worse and worse and this stuff. And she had this lotion and this tube that she had been just putting on with a rabbit. And I said, Sonia, I said, is that helping at all? And she said, it, it seems to have a, a little. And I said, well, hand it to me, let me look. And again, I only speak Spanglish, so I had no idea. You know, I thought maybe I could catch a word or something, anything to help. And I look at it, 
And the only word that immediately my eyes went to in this very small print were uh, vagicile. So <laughs> I said, Sonia, I don't think this is going to help too much. And she said, I don't care. It helps a little and took it off and kept going. And instantly I went back to it. As funny as that moment was to realize that poor Sonia obviously uh, had explained the wrong itch, was I could only <laughs> imagine the conversation that the pharmacist thought he was having with two Americans trying to explain that this lovely young girl had this situation going on. So that's what I kept focusing on. But anyway, that was our trip to Honduras. And uh, there you go. Thank you. <laughs>